Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. It's a bonus video. So I have told you guys that I've been cleaning and organizing and get everything set. And I'm going to be um, having a separate room for the shipping department. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting fancy, guys. We're getting fancy. <laughs> uh, so during that process, I have found a bunch of stuff. I'll actually tell you a secret maybe about it. I, I will. I will. I'll put my dirty laundry out there. I'll do it. But anyway, um, I have found a bunch of little trinkets, trinket dishes, all kinds of little things that um, I had intended to sell. And I thought I would show you and see if you guys are interested in any of them. I'm going to probably be getting out of the trinket business <laughs> and really focus. What do you think of this, by the way, guys? Oh, yeah. That's serious stuff, right? So I can, I would see that some of you would be like, whoa, that's kind of a lot. But I really like this ring. Um, a girl on Etsy makes these and it's all soldered and free form and with a piece of amethyst in it. And um, yeah, I just really liked it. Is that amethyst? I think it's amethyst. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, it should be. Okay. So anyway, I just like the idea of it. She was really artistic in making it. So yeah, there it is. Okay, back to what I was saying. I think I'm probably going to be out of the trinket business. I really want to focus in just on jewelry and purses. And if I'm honest, I have like three bins of shoes <laughs> that I've collected that I need to sell. I'm not sure if I'll focus on that very much anymore after those are gone. But, you know... When you start out reselling, I think you kind of like buy anything that you think you could resell for a profit and then you kind of, you know, drill down on what it is you really want to be doing. So that's what this is about. All right. If you guys would like to purchase anything, you can pause the video here. I'll tell you exactly what to do. Today is Wednesday and I'm probably going to get to print postage today, but the post office is going to happen tomorrow. And okay, forget I said all this because you're not seeing this on Wednesday. Okay, can you rewind? Okay, pause the video here if you'd like to purchase anything. I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's look at some trinkets. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. So first thing I have, guys, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't clean this stuff, okay? I just took it right out of storage. So I'm doing low prices, low prices on based on as found item. Makes sense? As found, okay? So you're probably gonna have to clean them up a little bit. Um, It's the way it is. We're trying to clear them out, okay? So are these not the cutest things you've ever seen in your life? Yeah, they're little uh, ceramic unicorns doing um, like, tumbles and headstands and gymnastics okay there's the bottom so you have two of these guys that are like on their heads you have two of these guys who's like doing like a crunch maybe I don't know <laughs> and then oh this guy's more on his shoulders and then this guy's full-on headstand aren't they the cutest things each uh, each <laughs> cutest things ever I think they're so so cute um so I'm going to tell you a secret where a lot of this stuff came from, okay, guys? It's a dirty little secret. It's a little bit embarrassing. This was all being stored in my upstairs shower. <laughs> it was. It was. Yeah. Little storage area. So the deal is, um, yeah, I used to spend a lot of time on whatnot. I haven't been on in a while because um, I have a problem with pushing that bid button without realizing it's money, right? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Okay. So I used to watch this guy that would sell a lot of stuff. And I bought this lot of stuff for $700. Yeah, that much. A wicked lot of money. And um, yeah. It came in and a lot of the stuff I have today, well, probably 50% is stuff that I pulled out that I actually could resell. Um, and then the other half I sent off to donation. Yes, I did. Very wise with my money here. Okay, anyway, I'm telling you 
my dirty little secret. That's what it is. So that's where these came from. That's how they came to me. It's how I'm selling them. You'll have to clean them. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, I would say there's probably like a couple, there are some places where um, the gold is a little bit worn. Okay, like there. So they're not perfect. Okay, see right there. All right, so just so you know, I did not see any chips, cracks, or breaks. So there are five here, and I'm gonna ask $8 for all five. Prices do not include shipping. You'll have to pay for shipping. And these aren't super heavy, but they will weigh more than jewelry, okay? So be aware. Um, you know, it's not gonna be a... I'm gonna lay that one down. That little headstand guy, hmm. He makes me a little nervous. Okay, the next standards, not as bad. Okay, <laughs> next, here we go. Um, I have this little tin, okay? This is not in perfect condition, but I thought it was just so, so pretty, isn't it? This is like such a pretty design. Um, it is a, how many sides is that? Oh, it's an octagon, uh, like a stop sign. Um, and this was probably tea, I'm thinking. Container made in England, maybe, maybe tea. It does have, um, maybe it was hinged at one point, but that's not here anymore, okay? So again, it's not perfect. Um, so yeah, this one's gonna be a cheapie. Here's the inside. Uh, this one's just gonna be a dollar, you guys, okay? I didn't want to donate. I thought maybe somebody could do something with it. I almost, I have a drawer of like tins and <laughs> yeah, I don't know. In my craft room, <laughs> I'll probably stick it in there if nobody wants it, but I have a lot of them and yeah, somebody else needs them. Okay. I have this uh, dish it has some tape residue there. Let's just uh, dump that out. <laughs> There it is, it's very pretty. It's like porcelain, I guess I would say. Um, it has transfer roses, um, a little bit of sticky juice. I bet there was tape all the way around this at one point. Um, yeah, and that, I don't know what that is. There it is, okay. It's very, very pretty. This is a bigger egg than I have. I've only seen the little guys. This one is five inches long, you guys, okay. So, $5. These are clear them out prices. Clear them out, you guys. Okay, so I have a little stack of Limoges trays. We'll go through them quickly. If you want to buy more than one of these Limoges trays, um, I could give you a dollar off the second one and so on. I could give you a dollar off any of the ones that come after. But you'll have to tell me in your email that, you know, it's another Limoges and I need a dollar off this one kind of thing. Okay? Or I won't, or I just won't know. Um, this needs to just be cleaned. Um, it's like sticker residue. Isn't this one pretty? I love it so so pretty uh this one is the biggest one it is about four and a half inches long um there's the oh shoot this one isn't Limoges oh what am I doing here I thought I had four Limoges I have three Limoges my bad sorry guys okay so pretend I didn't say that this one is not Limoges it is that JP made in France I didn't look up what that was Okay, so this one here is going to be $6. And then now I have three Limoges. My bad. Sorry about that, you guys. Oh, that one's cracked. I never saw that. It's chipped. Okay, so this one's going to be very inexpensive. There's Limoges. Okay, uh, this one's going to be $2. And then we have a courting scene. This one's cute, huh? Got some sticker residue, made in France, Limoges. Uh, $6 on that one. And last, oh, we have a giant piece of tape on this one. Maybe I can get that off at least, huh? At least take that off, Julie. <laughs> uh, we have another courting scene with some florals. Isn't that pretty? 
Uh, some of the gold is a little worn on the edge. Limoges. Okay, that one's gonna be $6 also. Okay, I think there's probably room on those for resellers. Reseller room, reseller room. Okay, I have a few more little trinket dishes. Oh, this one's Limoges. Uh, see, I messed my piles up is the problem. Okay, I have two more Limoges here. Okay, Limoges. Isn't this one beautiful? I am a fan of when the gold does this. It looks intentional to me, and I love it when it gets all feathery. Um, it just needs to be clean. There's nothing wrong with this one except the gold. This one is $6. Please buy some of this stuff, you guys. I really don't want to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> I might just throw it. I don't know what I'll do. Not throw it. Not throw it away. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm trying to get tape off this one, you guys. Um, we have this one. Oh, I didn't notice that either. That one's got a nice little chipper out of it. He's a little chipper. Yeah, I would say this one has a few issues, okay? This one is Limoges also. We'll just do this one for two bucks. Uh, and then I have, okay, is that all? Is that all for real this time? For real, what is this one? Is this Limoges? No, but it's kind of the same thing. We got this one. It's a little courting scene. Super, super pretty, this one. Um, this one is made in Germany. It's Dresden. Ooh, Dresden's pretty good, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, I'll still just do $6, though. $6. I want to get rid of them. Okay, so let's see this one. This one is... Hold on, you guys. There's a piece of tape again. I should have done this before I started filming. My apologies. Look at this one. Isn't this cute? I think it's so pretty. I love the little gold stuff on it. And this one is Nippon. Nippon, the word Nippon is uh, Japan in Japanese. If you wrote Japan in Japanese English, does that make sense? That's what Nippon is, okay? Uh, there are two little marks from manufacturing right here, uh, but there it is, okay? This one's going to be just $4. Okay, next. Okay, this one's a set of two. Okay. Oh, this is Limoges also. <laughs> Whoops. Limoges. Rochard. Rochard Limoges, France. Okay. Set of two. You have some little birdies. Aren't they so cute? These are beautiful, you guys. So, so pretty. Um, I just think they're so pretty. So this set will do for 10. Okay. And okay, this one is probably my favorite, I think. Is this one my favorite? I think so. I think this is it. Look how pretty this is. I think this would be like a napkin. They call it a napkin dish, I believe. If you know better, let me know. Are those transfer? Yep. See the dots, you guys? Those are transfer. So, so pretty. Um. Oh, look, I paid $5, you guys. <laughs> Uh, I probably did not. I probably have paid less than that. Knowing me, I probably bundled it up. Uh, there's some sticker, sticker residue, Godinger & Co. Or Godinger. I'm not sure. Godinger. I don't know. There it is. Uh, we'll just go five bucks on that one. Uh, I told you, let's get them out of here prices. I'm not trying to make money, really. Uh, okay, so this is Gobel, which is the same company that makes Hubble, Hubbles. <laughs> yeah, the Hubble telescope, guys. Hummels. Okay, here it is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Needs to be cleaned. It is transfer wear. I love the two colors together. I guess it could be an ashtray, right? But I don't think it was intended to be that. I think it's a dish. Uh, five bucks. Um, okay, what's this? Oh, this is fun. Look at a little Native American piece. Um, shows you some of the little icons that Native Americans use. Is that cool? Very cool. Uh, this is used for ornament, Japan. There we go. 
a little bit of the silver is a little bit coming off. How about $4 on that one? You know, well, no, you guys don't need to worry about that. Okay, so this one is a twofer. It's a pair. One is in rough shape, so it's kind of like free, okay? So this one's free. It's a little Florida one, but it has some wear on it, some rust. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. But I figured it's kind of similar, so I would put them together. Um, this one's a Washington, D.C. Have you been to Washington, D.C.? If you have not, I really um, highly recommend it. I've been a couple times. My dad lived near there for a while. That's candle wax. Um, and I went a couple times. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so there you go. It's metal, um, like a pot metal. Oh, there it is. And so you get this one free and you get this one and this will just be $4. Okay, next. Okay, we have this guy who would be awesome for Easter. Isn't he cute? A little planter. But um, somebody cracked him on the head. Yeah, and then there's sticker residue and a little piece of um, dog glitter. <laughs> I did this one up nice for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, sticker residue. Um, yeah, that's manufacturing. There it is. Here he is. Okay, he's just going to be $2, you guys. $2. <laughs> Somebody put a plant in him. If you don't buy them, I'll probably offer them to, uh, I always offer all my plant things to, um, my soon-to-be niece-in-law. She loves plants. I used to love plants, you guys. Oh my gosh. I had this one cactus plant that I have for like 20 some odd years. It was so big and so beautiful. And then it died. It died slowly. There were three pieces to it. They died one at a time. I tried saving them, like pulling them out of the pot, cleaning the roots off. Like ugh, I couldn't save them. And then I just said, forget it. I'm not having these plants anymore. It broke my heart. And then, <clears throat> sorry, that's not what I meant to say. <clears throat> the only plant I have now is a plant that my husband actually planted in kindergarten for his grandma. And it's just a continual clipping from that. And I give them to everybody as housewarming presents and things like that. Um, and as soon as it looks bad, I clip it down and start it over. It's the hardiest plant. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's amazing. <laughs> All right, so I have these little dishes. Aren't they so cute? They're so sweet. <laughs> Um, oh, look, somebody uh, hung them on the wall. They sell little things that there are these little circles that will, um, you wet them and they almost cement to your plate or whatever. Uh, they do come off, but I put them on one of my grandma's dishes. It worked great. It's still up. Uh, so here you go. Uh, okay, so for the pair of these guys... How about $4 for the pair? Okay. All right, so these I bought purposefully to sell, okay? These are, a couple of these are sterling, I'll tell you. So these hang on liquor bottles, okay? Sterling silver. Um, I don't believe the chain is sterling silver. You know what, I didn't check that. I can check the chain. Um, but this definitely is bourbon, okay? So that one's going to be $20 for the bourbon. And then we have this one. This one is so pretty. This one is rye. This one weighs 34.79 grams. It's heavy. Sterling. Again, I'm not sure on the chain. My thought is no. Kind of looks like a gunmetal chain. Isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. Uh, this one's going to be 25 And the first one was like 10 grams, you guys, just so you know. This one is around 9 grams. This says rum. Very cool. Sterling. This one's going to be $20. If somebody has a bar, these would be incredible. Incredible on it. Okay. Lastly, we have one more. This one is a ceramic one, vodka. And yeah, I'm going to say that the chains are not sterling because that one looks pretty similar. 
Um, there you go. Vodka. This one's just going to be five bucks. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> All right. You got to think uh, holidays, guys. Uh, these have some sticker residue. They're awesome. They are ceramic and they are coasters. It's a set of six with uh, ornaments on them and the uh, gold on the edge. Um, I don't believe any of these are marked. They're so pretty. They need a cleaning for sure. Uh, if you're not scared of that, there you go. There's six of them. So I'm going to ask uh, $10 for the stack. Okay. One money, one money, 10. <laughs> That's what made me push the button on that knot. Just kidding. Um, okay. Then we have this one. This is Satsuma Japan. There's crazing. That's called crazing. All those little cracks. Uh, here it is. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Don't you think? Okay, there it is. Um, six dollars. Six dollars. How many more do we have? Oh boy, we're still moving here. Still got a pretty good pile going on. I have a surprise that I'm going to sell at the end. Um, okay, so somebody had these hanging. Uh, this is a set of five. These are little plates. I would assume all depicting Holland. Okay, here's the back. Or Denmark. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what I meant to say. Just kidding. Interesting. So different. These three were made by one company so far. This one is a different company. Still Denmark, Copenhagen. And this is the same. Interesting. All right. Well, we're going to sell the five together anyway. Aren't they cute? You could definitely untwist this wire there and just use them as little trinket dishes. These ones don't have their wire. Aren't they so pretty? I think so. Let's put the girl on top. She's cute. The statue of the girl. Uh, so there's five of them. Let's go $8. Okay. Then we have this one. Isn't this fun? Terminal Tower, Cleveland, Ohio. It is a little sweaty. It's a little rusty, but I think it's still cool. What do you guys think? I think so. Terminal Tower, Cleveland, Ohio. We're going to go $3 on that one. Okay. All right, you guys, you'll see what I paid on this one. I'm going to charge you the same thing. $2. It is a brass heart container. Here we go. It has this little pulled down little latch. Does that spin? No. It's pretty. It's a good size. Um, Okay, that one is going to be $2. Okay, next. Next. Oh my gosh, another Limoges. Julie, you're going to get fired, girl. You're going to get fired. Okay, hold on. Here's another Limoges. Oh, Limoges must be the city in France. I didn't realize that. Uh, here we go. A little transfer wear. It's pretty. I like how light it is, how faint. Looks like there was probably some gilding on the edge that's not there. And there's a little chippy right there. Okay, $2 on that one. All right, what is this? Okay, we have another Nippon. This one seriously needs a cleaning. This is embarrassing. Okay, sorry, it's gross. Okay, it's in like the shape of a spade. Needs a cleaning badly, badly, badly. That's how I got it. Hand painted Nippon. Uh, let's just go four bucks. Yuck, I'm not putting my number in there. <laughs> okay, we have a Ray Dunn tray. It says color. Would this be cute? You could put little crayons in there. Oh, yeah. Needs a cleaning. Ray Dunn. Um, I'll go six on that one. Watch it. It'll be retired and worth a million dollars. Just kidding. Okay, so I have this little blown glass birdie. 
with the bubbles. Bola Conte, I believe is how you say that. No chippies. Cute, huh? How about $3? $3 on the birdie. Um, okay, what is this? This is fun. This color reminds me of my grandma. There is a marking on here, but I can't. Hmm. I'm trying to take the sticker off. Forget it. You guys can just see it. Uh, this color reminds me of my grandma. She had dishes this color. It's an apple, I believe. Um, it says... Bell something. I don't know. There it is. I don't know. There we go. Let's do $4. This one's a little heavier than the others. $4. Hold on, I am out of room here. You gotta get out of the way. Okay. Uh, okay, these are the cutest, you guys. Are you ready? Ta -da! Look at them, they're so cute. They are little elephant candle holders. This guy's got a little glue residue on his face. Come on, dude, wash your face. Probably his ear came off and somebody glued it or something. I don't know, it's coming off. I just didn't wanna take the time to mess with it. Sorry about that. Great presentation, Julie. <laughs> All right, so they're not perfect. There's some little dings, but they're so, I think they're so cute. Made in China. Aren't they the cutest? Look at their little faces. Little faces, ha. Huh? So cute. Okay, so for the two of those, we'll do the pair for $3, okay? $3. Okay, you can go there. Okay, this guy is so cute. I think he'd be good for Easter. That's my theory. Um, it's this little, maybe pewter, I'm not sure. Little like duck, bird, little dish. Isn't it so cute? I think it's so cute. You're having a hard time seeing him. He's so cute. Uh, let's just do $5 on him. He'd be fun for Easter, I think. Little ducky. All right, we have this glass jar and this is really interesting how this is painted you guys there's some hand painting on the top side and then there's some reverse painting on the bottom side which gives you serious depth you see how it looks like that pumpkin's way behind sticker residue it is glass it's a heart shape and elements made in china how about four dollars on that one okay Okay, then we have this one. Oh man, I didn't untape this. How long is this gonna take? Eek. Two minutes, guys. Way to be prepared. You guys are used to me by now, right? <laughs> all right, I didn't get all the tape off. Okay, that's all right. That's all right, we're gonna show it anyway. This one is very pretty. This might be my second favorite. Here it is. It's a little dish with a covered lid. I think that's just juice right there. It needs to be cleaned. It's a little snow season, uh, snow painting. Isn't it beautiful? Um, and this is the little beautiful applied handle. Um, the inside is also uh, not sealed, not gelled, glazed. Huh, there we go. And it is signed. There's a signature there and then on the bottom. Okay. Hand painted in Italy for Batea, I believe. Okay, so this gorgeous one I'm gonna do $10 on. Okay, $10. So, so pretty. Um, okay, then we have this. This is heavy, you guys, so just so you're aware for shipping. It's probably like lead glass, um, blue glass, uh, starfish, star, sea star, star shape, whatever, uh, with a little candle holder. I'm just gonna ask $2, cause you're gonna have to pay to ship, $2. Okay, next. Oh, this one. Look at this, isn't that pretty? It's probably my third favorite. I love it, I think it's so pretty, I like the birds. Um, that is hand painted, I would say. Uh, sticker obviously uh, there's the marking I don't know what that means okay let's do a four dollars on that one okay next 
what do we have next oh my gosh this one i'm gonna do that one at the end because we'll need to pick the camera up a little bit oh boy you're gonna see my mess all right um here we go we have this one needs a cleaning it's glass it is hand painted with the leaves and the gold there you go super pretty how about four dollars on that one okay out of room over here I have this birdie. This one is glass. Indiana glass since near Ohio. They've been around a long time, Indiana glass. It's pressed glass. There you go, sticker residue. Uh, this one's gonna be $5. Okay, I have this, which I thought was fun. If anybody collects these, this is an old, um, a little vintage uh, watch or bracelet holder for gift giving. Isn't it so cool? Hamilton, Illinois, Hamilton Watch Co. Yeah, so it's supposed to be watches, but I bet you could put a bracelet. Uh, $5 on that one. And then I have this vintage little ring box. Isn't it cool? Push in here. It's not perfect, but I think it's incredible. Personally, I like things when they look like that. <laughs> uh, let's go $5 on that one too. Okay, then I have a pair of these. We'll sell them together. They are green glass. I don't believe these glow. Do they? Oh. Oh, they do glow, babe. Guys, babe. <laughs> they do glow, babe. <laughs> okay, so they're uranium glass. Pretty, gorgeous. So I'm gonna sell them as a pair and I'll go, how about 10 bucks on the pair? Okay, next. Okay, these are two little saucers, um, but they're really pretty, so I thought I would still show them. They don't have their cups. Um, not sure what that says. So just a dollar on this one. And a dollar on this one, it definitely needs to be clean. It's not in the greatest shape, but it's still really cute. Okay, one dollar. Oops. Okay, then I have this floral piece. It's like um, a clay or ceramic tile, and then it has a little spot for flowers with a flower frog. Looks like a little price tag in there, a little bit of judge. Good stuff. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I think it's pretty. And it hangs on the wall. Somebody glued that down good, like that. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Okay, uh, $5. And then, okay, we have a hair receptacle. That's what these are called, or hair pot. Um, so people that brush their hair like crazy and then they would take the hair that fell out and put it in a little hair pot. Oh, I valued a dollar thirty-eight. Excellent. Um, sticker residue. JP France. It's very pretty. Um, I'll just do five dollars on that one too. Okay, I have this one. Definitely needs a cleaning and this tape removed. It is this little glass piece. Isn't it pretty? I like it. Tape, tape, tape. Uh, $4. And then I have this piece. This is probably one of the bigger little plates. Looks like I got it at Savers, maybe. <laughs> um, it's a little pottery piece. It is signed. I looked that up. It wasn't a bad brand or a bad maker. There it is, Rocky Man, okay? All right, it's very, very pretty. This one is how long? 10 inches long this way. Let's do, oh look at you guys see that these have a little bit of, they're just pretty, they have a lot of depth. <laughs> and dog glitter. Um, okay, so let's do $10 on that one. Ow, guys, I'm stuck, <laughs> get me out. <laughs> Can't get out. <laughs> All right, $10. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay, give me two seconds. I have to rearrange over here because I'm out of room again. And I've got a couple more things to show you. Couple more. Almost there. One more. Okay, these are plastic. <laughs> um, they're new, actually. They are ring holders. This one is a doggy. <laughs> you put your rings on here at the end of the day. Um, I'll demonstrate in case you can't figure it out. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. So he's plastic. He's going to be just uh, $3, please. $3. And then I have one in a kitty. This one is a little bit lighter weight. Let me see if things are going to make it fall over. No, they'll be fine. I found this the other day. I got to put that back for sale. I don't know where it came from. It was on the floor. <laughs> okay, $3 on the kitty cat. And I have, where are those? There they are. These are also new. They're really pretty. Here's a B. And it's a little, you push this in, a little medicine pill case kind of thing. Okay, this one's going to be... Oh, cheapest, $5. And then I have another one like this. Pretty, right? $5. And let's change our numbers. I have one more with a dragonfly, $5. Okay, two more new pieces. Are you ready? I have this one. It's new in the box. You'll get the packaging. Hard and... Ugh. You know, you gotta love static. It has this little uh, styrofoam on there. This is a ring holder, guys. Okay, it's a, like a hamsa hand ring holder. Isn't it pretty? It's ceramic. Okay. Uh, this one's going to be $10. Like I said, it will come all wrapped for you. Okay, put that over there. Come here. Come here, box. Okay. And then I have this new one. This one I thought was so cool, and this is not going to be good to have all this styrofoam stuck to it. This is new. It is a velvet jewelry box that looks like a coffin. Isn't that so cool? I thought it was so fun. You can put some uh, necklaces, uh, rings, bracelets, earrings, whatever you like in there. Isn't that pretty? I'll tell you how long it is. This one is um, seven inches long, top to bottom, okay? And this one's gonna be $10, okay? $10, then we'll come in its little box. Okay, you need to go there. Okay, let's see. What do I have left? Okay, I have two things that are kind of tall. So um, I'm gonna adjust the camera. You're gonna see my mess that I need to test up there, which is mortifying, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Keep it real around here. Whoa, hello, you can't do that. Okay, here we go. I have this tin. It is so cool, you guys. Party hopping. Yeah, and look, watch this, ready? Where is it? Hello, there we go. <laughs> I was doing it wrong. Isn't this is so fun? I love it, it's so cool, right? So like 80s. <laughs> um, I forgot what this was. What were you? They're real. Oh, mascara. Uh, high beam, probably some, uh, what's that called on your cheek? Highlighter, brow, eye cream. <laughs> Isn't it so fun? Here's the lid. Uh, it comes off like this. And the way you turn it is by, I thought, yeah, there. Oh, that loosened a little or something. I don't know. Isn't that so cool? I think it's so fun. Uh, $5 on that, baby. Okay. Last one, you guys. This mess is my mess, meaning it needs to be dusted. Um, do you guys remember this guy? Yeah, this is my little vintage 
Tonka truck that I made this little um, like foam pin cushion in. Uh, and it stores all my hat pins. And I've decided that I don't need them, okay? I have decided to sell them. Where's that foam? I want to kind of put foam back here so you can actually see what we're looking at. Um, so here they are. Uh, so I will send the truck to if you want it. I guess some of you probably wouldn't love it. Uh, this one's wicked thick, so it's not through the foam. That's a little piece of stone. Um, there are some covers to some of them here. Um, yeah, so some are really incredible. Some are a little bit um, plainer. This one's really cool. This is a really um, old like micro mosaic. Uh, this one is fun. Isn't that pretty? Um, let's see. This one. Uh, oh, this guy's fun. We have this one. Uh, I'm trying to show you the really cool ones. This one is glass, I believe. This one's pretty. Got this one. That one's a little bent. Some of them might be bent. They're vintage. They've been around. We have this wicked long one. I don't know what this was. A very long hat pin. That's glass. Okay, so that's them. I don't know how many there are. And like I said, there are some that are plainer like these guys. And there's like a pearl one over there. Um, well, there it is. There they are. There they are. What are you? Yeah, just a little plain green one. Okay, so there they are. Um, I'll probably take it apart to ship it. Oh, this one's really nice. I didn't show this. I believe this is glass. Okay, so I'll probably take this out apart to ship it. Um, yeah, so anyway, there it is. So for the entire collection with the little truck. Oh, I didn't show this one. I have to. Look at this one. This could be uh, Miriam Haskell. I am not sure, though. I think I have a Miriam Haskell hat pin that I need to sell you guys or show you guys. Okay, anyway, for this entire thing, uh, it's going to be $130, $130, okay? $130. We'll see if anybody likes it for that. All right, you guys, we did it. That's it. That's all of my trinkets. That's everything I found in my bathtub. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody, okay? Oh, I didn't know the rest of the story. So the rest of the story is I knew I was going to be in big trouble when this giant load of boxes came, right? <sighs> so I called the post office and said, hey, don't deliver those boxes. I'm going to come grab them. And I ran down. I grabbed them. I ran them upstairs opened them all up, checked them out, threw them all back in the boxes, threw them in my shower, and then I hadn't looked at them again for about a year till now. Is that terrible? I shouldn't tell you these things. It's terrible. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Bye, guys.